What's up? It's me, Nazario. We made it through June, and that means that it's time to do my second analytics video. So here we go. What, what, what up, Niz? So I want to figure out a way to make these videos a little bit more casual. Um, so I'm thinking for my next one, I'm probably going to change the setup. I'm probably not going to be in my room that I shoot in. I'm probably going to try like doing something somewhere else just to kind of change up the scenery a little bit just a smidge just a smidge but that's all all that aside let's get to the actual video today is thursday june 25th i just posted my last video of june recording session recording vocals with q mckinney it's live now so you can go ahead and watch it i'll put the link in the bio and have the little thing pop up here or here or wherever it pops up i'll figure that out in the future i just wanted to take a look and see how i did in regards to the past month of me actually focusing on growing my youtube channel the way this is going to work is we're going to take a look at my youtube studio we're going to see the behind the scenes aspect of my youtube channel and see what the numbers are looking like we have that right here we have my youtube studio right here um we have all my subscribers and all that stuff blah blah, blah. right now my current subscriber number is 97 i started out the month at 51 so i think that's about a 46 i gained 46 subscribers in one month i think my math might be wrong i hate math i'll probably double i'll correct myself if i got it wrong and post on top of that my watch hours did pretty good according to my notes my i started out the month at 219 watch hours and i am now at uh 541 so that's a little over hmm, a little over 320 maybe 322 watch hours i think we're gonna see if i got that right because i just kind of pulled that number out of thin air just looking at the two numbers side by side so answer is gonna be here if i was right or wrong I would say that this past month was pretty successful for my first month of YouTube. I didn't reach my goal of breaking 100 subscribers, at least at this point. Maybe by the, by the 30th, that will have changed. But we'll see. Um, if not, that's okay. That's completely fine. This is a growing process, so we're learning as we go. Meaning we, meaning me, meaning I. Yeah. Now that we've taken a look at those numbers specifically, I wanted to take some time to individually focus in on each of my YouTube videos that I posted this month and um, just overall all the videos that have been performing well for me on my YouTube channel. So we're going to jump over to the analytics and uh, we're going to jump over to the analytics. Uh, we're going to jump over to the analytics window and we're gonna take a look at the numbers. First thing that we noticed, that I noticed when I was looking at this earlier, is that I hit my peak on June 3rd of this month. A lot of those views came from the video that I posted last year, The Truth About Record Deal Advances. Um, you can actually watch that video if you would like. It's very informative on how record deal advances work and it's just me kind of documenting my process of studying music business and talking about things that I learned, which is gonna be one of the things that I'm gonna be posting on this YouTube channel. That was my best day, and then from there was pretty much all downhill, except for like one day. I posted my first video a couple days after that, a day after that, wow. <laughs> That's when the numbers started dropping off as soon as I posted my next video. That's kind of sad. But moving on, you can see that my videos clearly have been dropping off. The numbers have been dropping off as I posted videos. This is probably more realistic for a new YouTube channel anyways. So I'm not too upset about the fact that my numbers dropped from being in the hundreds in like 400, 300, 200 and all those hundreds down to being anywhere between 30 and 30 and uh, 100 views. That's completely fine with me. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at all the videos and see how they did each month this month and see which ones performed the best. And then I'm gonna kinda talk about what I think I need to do better. So we're just gonna focus on these top six videos because this is where all the videos that I posted this month are sitting. And then um, some other stuff creeped in there that I posted a little while back. 
first thing that you can that you notice is that I got about 3,000 views on my video that I posted last year in March, it looks like. Um, I got 3,000 views in the month of June, which is pretty impressive, but I'm a new YouTube channel, so that wasn't really sus sustainable. So we're gonna have to work on that just a little bit. And the next one that started doing well was my City Girls Type Beat that's on my YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure the reason that one has been performing well is because they just dropped an album. So SEO makes it where people are looking up city girls and people are all of a sudden interested in them again. So now all of a sudden my video is getting some more views. Didn't get a lot, it got about 45 views in a month, but that's more than it had been doing in the past couple of months, I believe. After that, we get into the first video that I posted this month, and that was my Taking YouTube Serious video. That one got about 24 views in the month, which is pretty good. People watched about 30% of it if you round up. I'll have to look up, do some research to actually see if 30% is a good watch time for a video of its length. After that, you have my video about hiring a music manager. That one did 22 views in the month of June. That My video on hiring a music manager did 22 views in the month of June, which is pretty good, honestly, because I think that was the video I posted last week. and. It's almost at the same point as the video that I posted at the beginning of the month. And I'm pretty sure it has to do with the fact that that's probably more what people are interested in and what more of what they need. So people are gonna respond to that video much better than anything else so far. After that, we have another beat I posted back in 2016. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And then in last place from all the videos I posted this month, is my cheddar was wrong about autotune video. I'm not really surprised at how poorly it did in comparison to the other videos. The reason I'm not surprised is because it was targeted towards a very specific audience of people that watch cheddar videos, which cheddar is a YouTube channel if you don't know. And if they had seen the video where they were talking about the rise and fall of autotune, then maybe they ended up ending ended up watching my video where i was responding to it because i just wanted to clarify some things that i thought were misleading in the cheddar video so i'm not too surprised that it kind of i guess you could call it a flop um but i'm not too devastated about that so that's pretty much everything on my analytics and how i've done so now the next thing i want to get into is my goals for the month of july i've seen a few different youtubers talk about the fact that on youtube your goal should be to make your next video better than your last video and that you should always be trying to find one thing that you can improve about your videos because of that i've set that goal for myself i want to work my thumbnails i'm not really happy with them right now it was a cool idea but i don't think i executed it as well as i would have liked and i don't think that they are as good as i would have as some other thumbnails that I've seen on YouTube. So I'm gonna take some time and work on trying to figure out a new way to approach the YouTube thumbnails. Um, hopefully this video will have a good thumbnail that's different from what I posted last month and we'll see if that does any better. The other thing I wanna work on is lighting because that is the hardest thing for me to do. I don't know if you've noticed in this video, but there is a glare on my glasses from the light that I use and I just have trouble trying to properly light my um, light my setup. I want to work on the graphics that I use for my music business videos, kind of show more visuals outside of just me talking to the camera, just to make it more interesting for people. And then for my recording session videos, I was having a conversation with Q, or my producer vlogs. I was having a conversation with Q about things that I wanted to change in regards, once again, to lighting. I'm obsessed with it. But also the whole format of my producer vlogs is going to be kind of changing and developing. I'm gonna try out different things and see how that works versus the other things. And then another thing is that my goal is to be able to make YouTube videos discussing the little details of music but speaking to people that love music and the little details but don't create music so that's what my attempt that's what i was kind of toying around with with my cheddar video um i'm gonna try to work at i'm gonna try to work at improving that format and making it something that gets people interested in that and finds its audience but in the meantime my music business videos have been doing uh i think that those are pretty pretty good 
outside of the graphics aspect. Um, I probably want to get a little bit more detail in some areas. I've noticed that there are some comments on videos that are asking questions that I didn't even think about when I was making the video. So I want to try to keep those things in mind on future videos. I do appreciate that people are commenting with actual questions because that gives me an opportunity to actually answer and kind of do the research and find answers if I don't already have the answers to their questions. In regards to numbers on my YouTube channel, I want to hit a couple different goals in regards to my subscribers and my watch hours. I want to see if I can at least get 600 watch hours, maybe 650 watch hours in July. And then I want to see if I can get to maybe 120 subscribers or something around that number by the end of July. So I thank you guys for watching this and joining me along in this process of trying to grow my YouTube channel. Um, probably look back on these and laugh at them or something I don't know you might or might not but once again I'd like to thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and if you have anything that you'd like to see me talk about in regards to music make sure you drop a comment below on any of my videos and I will add it to my list of things that I want to talk about so thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video I just wanted to um, make a quick shout out to the, my 100 subscriber, Zano Hu, who actually ended up following me on Instagram and DMing me and letting me know that he was the 100 subscriber. So thank you for that and I appreciate the um, subscribe and I hope you stick around for the entire journey that is my YouTube channel. So catch you guys in the next video every Thursday at 11 a.m.